Praise God, my dear friends. And today, we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, I want to share with you something very simple from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17, which says that no weapon, no weapon fashioned against you shall prevail. Amen. Amen. No weapon fashioned against you shall prevail. We thank God for this wonderful word. Now, um, this scripture shows us something. First, that being a godly person being a Christian, being a servant of God is not the way to stop the enemy from fashioning weapons. You cannot stop the enemy from fashioning weapons against you simply because you are a Christian or you are a believer, or you are a godly person. doesn't work that way. So even as we talk right now, as we are talking about this topic right now, in some dark places, in some shrines, in some synagogues of Satan, in some demonic gatherings, Weapons are being manufactured, developed, revolutionized, evolved, made more sophisticated, made more complex and more lethal to target you, to attack you. So the Lord is saying, no weapons fashioned against you. He's not saying that there will be no weapons fashioned. He didn't say that. He didn't say there will be no weapons fashioned against you. That means that he's telling us there will always be weapons fashioned against you, created against you. But no weapon that has been fashioned against you shall prosper, shall prevail, shall achieve its end, shall achieve its purpose. That's what he's saying. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. So this is a very powerful word, a very encouraging word from the Lord. So this is why I always urge as the believers never to fear what the enemy is doing behind your back don't even spend sleepless nights of what the enemy is fashioning against you because god has already pronounced the 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 the, the futility the uselessness of their weapons their uselessness is seen in this word that no weapon fashioned against you shall prevail. If it does not prevail against you, it has been rendered useless. So let the enemy waste their time, waste their effort, waste their energy, creating weapons. Walk in the word of God, in this declaration of God that says, none of those weapons shall prevail, shall prosper. Shall prosper. Amen. And, and, uh, and I look at a person like, like St. Paul. St. Paul, while he was on the island, I think Patmos, uh, 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 I'm not exactly sure. And something happened, something happened to St. Paul. While he was resting, a deadly snake very poisonous snake 
came and attached itself on his arm. And the people looked at him and they said, this is a dead man. Some say that this man must have done something very bad. That the gods were always looking for an opportunity to punish him. And some said he is going to die. But the Bible says, St. Paul, there was a fire burning by. St. Paul took the snake while it was still hanging in his arms. He took the snake onto the fire and he shook it. He shook it off from his arm in the fire. And he went to sleep and the people said, he is surely not waking up. He is a dead man. He is a dead man. But in the morning, St. Paul woke up very strong, very healthy. There was nothing. And people said, this man didn't die. Then that means he is one of the gods that has come in human form. They say he's a god. You see, this word was put in practice, was that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Not the weapon of men. Not the weapon of the evil powers of principalities and dominions and thrones. The fallen angels, no weapon the fashion against your life shall prevail. And I want, I want us to look at the action of St. Paul. The snakes attached to him. Then he goes straight to where the fire is burning and he shakes off the, the snake into the fire. Yes, that was a literal thing. It happened and it is exactly what happened. But there is also a spiritual significance, symbolism embedded there. What is the symbolism? The snake being attached already to him is a symbol of every evil attack, enemy, evil power that has already got you, that has already touched you, that has already been attached onto you but has not yet prevailed. Then St. Paul took it to where the fire is. And what is that fire? It's prayer. It's prayer. It's prayer. The snakes may be attached to you. They may even bite you, but they will not prevail. Immediately when you see them, when you notice them attached to you, you shift and go to the place where there is fire. And what is that fire? It's prayer. Pray and shake off that snake. Shake off that evil. Shake off that witchcraft. Shake off that attack, spiritual attack in the fire of prayer. Prayer is the fire that will, that will burn up that snake that attaches itself to you, onto you. Prayer. Paul took it in the place of prayer or fire and shook it off from his arm. And nothing happened to him. This is what believers are to do. Jesus did not say that snakes will not bite you or you will not, but he said you will trample upon them. That's what he said. I give you authority against every unclean spirit. That you will trample on the serpent and the scorpion. You will drink poison and not die. You will cast out evil spirits. Why? Because the Lord has decreed that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Shall prosper. He didn't say there will be no weapons fashioned. He said of all the weapons fashioned, none shall prevail. None shall prevail. None shall prevail. Walk in the consciousness of this word and believe it and walk in it and you will see something great being changed in your spiritual life especially when it comes to battling these spiritual attacks that we usually get no weapon no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper no weapon the enemy will always make weapons against you that's what i wanted to know whether you are the Pope, you are the Cardinal, you are the fiery pastor, you are the most anointed person on earth, the devil will always fashion weapons against you. Whether you pray and fast like how 
the enemy will always fashion weapons against you. It is faith and standing in this word that God has declared that will set us free, which he says that no weapon the enemy fashions against you shall prevail. So why is it that the weapon the enemy fashions against some people, believers, prevails? Why? Definitely it's not the word of God that has failed because the word of God cannot fail. So what has failed? Why does the weapon the enemy fashioned prevail against believers? The reason I come up with is simply one. Knowing the book of Revelation, Christ speaks to some of the believers in one of the churches and says that you are neither hot nor cold. And because of that, I am going to vomit you out of my mouth. Now, if you're not hot, you're not cold, and Christ has vomited you out of his mouth, you are now in a place where the weapon of the enemy can harm you, where the weapon of the enemy can touch you. He says that I know my sheep, hmm? that the evil one shall not snatch them from my hand. The evil one shall not snatch them out of my hand. If you are not in his hand, as his sheep, as his flock, then the enemy will snatch you. That's the meaning. The enemy will snatch. You're neither cold, you're not hot, you're living a, a lukewarm kind of a Christian life. Then the weapon, the enemy fashions, will do something. Will do something. Or the enemy has touched on you, but you don't know your identity in Christ. You don't know the authority that God has given you to trample on snakes and scorpions. And even sometimes you know it, but you don't utilize it. You don't unleash it. And some people will say, but how do you utilize that authority? How do you utilize the authority that God has given us to trample on? It is by trampling. If he says, I'll give you authority to trample on snakes, then trample on them. Walk on them. You see, when the people were saying, Paul, you're, you're a dead man. There was no fear in the eyes of Paul. There was no fear in his life. He just went to the place of fire and shook it off. Shake off that attack that has come upon you. Shake it off. Shake it off. And trample on the enemy in the name of Jesus. So this is one scripture I wanted to share with you today. And I hope that this video will bless you today. And, 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 and please subscribe if you have not. Turn on the bell button so that you are always notified whenever I post a new content. You are blessed.